bass. I love this song. How can anyone not like the light years? How can anyone not like Taco Shack? Haha. <laughs> Actually, I've heard there are people that don't like tacos. Come on, Aurora. That's crazy. No, no. It's true. I was listening to this interview and... Oh, man. It's Uncle Jetto. Hmm. He's probably got a job for us. I'll patch him through. Buenos dias, Dexter and Aurora. Buenos dias, Uncle Jetto. Buenas. What did you have for us today? I want a persona on Venus that ordered a shipment of Dashboard Hula Girls. So I want you guys to head over there as soon as possible. Venus, eh? That's the one with all the water on it, right? Any details? Looks like they live in a pretty inaccessible place, overlooking a cliff. Uh, can't we just do an airdrop? No, they paid extra for front door delivery. Hmm, shouldn't be too hard, I guess. Perfecto. Just let me know when you're done. I'm working on something big on Ganymede. I'll let you know when I have more details. Sounds good, Uncle Jetto. We'll talk soon. Jetto out. Okay, let's hit it, Dex. You think they'll have a taco shack there? We can only hope. <laughs> Sounds like a pretty straightforward delivery. Aren't they all? They should be, but somebody always seems to complicate things. I feel like that was directed at me. <sighs> Olvídalo. Let me check something out. Looks like we're making the delivery up there. I think we can just... I've got the merchandise. Let's go. Dexter, wait. There's a path over here. Uh, Aurora? Oh, space. Not already. I think I just complicated things. Yeah, I can see that. I can't climb back up. Can you give me a hand? Not with all this mud here. Aw, oh, come on, Aurora. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take this path over here, and I'll meet you up at the house. What about me? How am I going to get all the way up there? Well, you'll just have to take the long way around. The long way? Dex, I know you really will. You'll figure something out. See you soon. Well, let's figure this out. All that I adventurously fell down. Spacey. Hmm, looks like an abandoned outpost set up by the Ministry of Space, which hasn't been around since the Vrezians attacked Earth. Hmm, looks like an abandoned outpost set up by the Ministry which hasn't been around... It almost has a texture of molding clay. Eh, why not? The sunlight is especially hot and bright here, but there's nothing to use. Hmm, looks like an abandoned outpost, which hasn't been... It's a power breaker lever. The handle's missing, though. Looks like a 3D printer of some kind. I've heard some of these can take a mold, determine its function, and print a working mechanism. Spacey. It's an industrial molder of some kind, and it has a blaster mold in it. Looks like the power cable's busted, so it won't harden the mold. But I guess I can still make a mold of a blaster. I just have to find another way to harden it, though. I can't pick that up. I have to put something in it first. Looks like there's a blaster mold in this thing. So, let's make a mold of a blaster. Neato. It's clay molded.
Let's see, this shouldn't take too long. Holy space nachos, it worked. It's hardened and ready to be manufactured. These reeds look really strong. I think I can break one off. I don't want to make it angry. There has to be something I can do to get this octopus away from here. Yikes! I'm never going to cross with that thing there. There has to be something I can do to get this octopus away from here. Santo Espacio, I'm not giving up my food from Taco Shack. There has to be something I can do to get this octopus away from here. I don't think so. Looks like a 3D printer of some kind. I've heard some of these can take a mold, determine its function, and print a working mechanism. Spacey. It's not on. Let's see if this fits. Neato. Neato. It's pretty firmly attached. Neato. All righty, let's see what this thing can do. Holy Jimmy Chunga, it's a fully functioning blaster. Well, this shouldn't hurt him too bad, but it'll definitely sting. Haha! <laughs> -ha, it worked! It's a good sturdy board. It's the perfect spot for a board.
It's a good sturdy board. I think I get the idea. Hmm. All right, I made it. KV index, how was it? Pretty good. Reminded me of my childhood. That's the best thing about an adventure. Come on, are you ready to deliver this package? Let's do it. I'm ready for some fresh tacos already. Pues vámonos ya. Delivery! What's wrong with him? Well... It's, um, complicated. Miss, I have confirmation of Dexter Stardust. Excellent. Have you secured his location? I will place an order which will bring him here. He will come unaware of our intentions. Then I will send my envoy to meet you. Your envoy, miss? Yes. I expect him to arrive sometime after Dexter. How will I recognize your envoy, miss? Is he like you? No. He is a robot. A, a, a robot from... He is from my home. From Planet X. Okay, start from the beginning. The beginning? Yeah. It began when the Vriesians destroyed Earth. Don't panic, Dexter! We'll be safe soon! Jero! Take Dexter and leave in the ship, okay? Lo tengo, mi amigo. Thank you, my old friend. Keep Dexter safe. I'll make my way to Venturia. Dad, no! It's okay. I'm just going to get your mom. We'll see you soon, mijo. The engines are on. We're getting out of here. So, everyone died but you and your uncle? No, no, nothing like that. At that point, humanity had spread across almost every planetary body in the system. Oh, that's good, I guess. But basically everyone living on Earth died. Oh, that's not so good. Well, you learn to live with it. After that, I grew up on Mars. And then my friend Aurora and I, well, we started working for my Uncle Jetto. We mostly just traveled around, getting in trouble here and there, and eating tacos. Tacos? Yeah, you know? I could really go for a taco right about now. Okay, okay. 
Let's get back to the story. Or a burrito. Or nachos. Dexter, wake up. Cheesy nachos. Dexter, wake up. Jimmy Chungas. Dexter Stardust. Ow. Ow. Aurora? Where are you? I'm over here. Oh. So... My ankle really itches. Can you reach it? Can you reach it? I'm trying to... No, I can't. If you can't, then I can't. I could really go for some nachos right about now. Hmm. Tell me about it. Are you done? Yeah. I just needed to try something. Did it work? It did not. Why are we tied to this tree? You seriously don't remember? I remember we landed the ship. And then that guy ambushed us. What guy? Remember? We were walking through the woods and talking about... Space! This Triconian jungle is hot! Tritonian. What? It's pronounced Tritonian. That's what I said. Triconian. Tritonian! With a T in the middle. Come on, Aurora. Does it even matter? Yes, it does, Dexter. People can get really upset when you mispronounce the name of their planet, even if there aren't any actual people on it. Uh, they'll get over it. It hasn't gotten me in any trouble yet. <sighs> so, uh, who are we looking for? Somebody at these coordinates ordered a box of dashboard hula dolls. We have to keep this delivery a secret, okay? But Tio Yedo always gets uneasy when anybody mentions this part of the system. Probably something to do with the Vrizians. Probably. Anyways, you got the box with you, right? No, I thought you had it. Ugh. Do I look like I'm carrying a box? Well, uh, now that you mention it. Well, we better go back to the ship to get it. Let's go, I really want to get this over with. I'm getting hungry. You huh? guys got some grub? Stop it, Dexter. Fine. Who are you? I'm Carl, but the locals call me Crazy Carl. Locals? I wasn't aware that there was a colony here. Isn't Triton largely uninhabited? Completely. Just an old communications outpost set up by the Ministry of Space. I'm the only one who works here. I thought you said the locals call you Crazy Carl. They do. Anywho, come now. There isn't much time. Where are we going? Well, if you're going to be difficult about it... Ah! Ouch. Uh... Oh, yeah. That guy was crazy. <sighs> crazy Carl. Crazy Carl. What are we going to do now? The same thing we do every time our delivery goes wrong and we get tied to a tree. We look around for random nearby objects and see if we can reach them. And it looks like there's quite a bit to work with. Yeah, some pretty odd stuff as well. All right, see what you can reach over there and I'll see what I can do over here. Okay, let's see what we got. It's so close, yet... Ugh, let me see if I can... Ugh, I can't reach it. Well, I don't know how much more rope can help, but it can't hurt. Ugh, let me see if I can... Ugh, I can't reach it. If only I wasn't tied up. Then I'd show these ropes who's boss. Even though we don't have a plumbing problem, maybe plumbing is the solution. Ugh, let me see if I can... Ugh, I can't reach it. It's no use, Aurora. We're gonna die here. Die to this stupid tree. Mm -hmm. We never should have made this delivery. We should never have... Wait a second. What if we... I think I have an idea. Hey, Aurora, do you think you can... Oh, how'd you do... Ah, yes, the machete. Smart thinking. I was actually gonna suggest you grab that. Uh-huh. Come on. Let's get out of here. What about the delivery? Forget the delivery. Stack of time. I don't need it now. I don't have any use for it. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't need it now. I don't need it now.
Wait a second, what is that? Why do I remember this? Is this? And, and they keep just making fun of me, Dad. They call me Dexmex. I just wish, I, I just wish I could be like you. Dexter, you are like me. But you, you're so brave. That's not true. I get scared too. Really? Of course. But you're an adventurer. And adventurers are the bravest. Bravery is important. But even more so, it is important to have a good team. A team? Yes. And I have the best team. Your Uncle Jero and your mom. Yeah, well, I, I'm all alone. No one wants to be friends with someone who's different, like me. Dexter, what makes you different is what makes you special. Do you see this badge? It's an adventurer's badge. Yes, an official adventurer's badge. The Ministry of Space gave these out to adventurers before their first voyage. Your Uncle Jero and I, we had amazing times exploring and finding new places to start colonies. But when we discovered Vries, that all changed. We had discovered a race of people just like us. It was incredible. But isn't that w when you couldn't be an adventurer anymore? This is true. The Ministry of Space shut down the adventure project after learning Breezians did not want us there. Except for your mom. She came back with me. And every time I look at this badge, it reminds me of her and of you. You are like the North Star above, Dexter. You are one of a kind. You just need to find your team.